Hello, everybody. I'm Jamie Chernoff, and I'm an instructor at Healthy Bones and Balance. It's a program of the Amherst Senior Centers offered Monday and Wednesdays at 10 a.m. live on Zoom. But there's some times when we can't get to class or we don't have a full hour to put into our exercise. So I'm putting on recording a short version. It's going to include all the essential exercises, only one warm up, one cool down, a couple of stretches, and we'll see if we can get it into half an hour. We'll be doing two sets of each exercise. I'll be using weights. And over time, you'd want to use weights too if you stick with the program. But with today, you could just use your fists and add resistance. That means don't let the arm just float up or swing. Pretend, imagine that, you that there's something pushing you away, uh, pushing that hand away and you're trying to use your own muscle. So that'll be a good, um, that'll be a good workout right there. So let's start, sit in a chair. Most of our exercises can be in the chair or standing, um, but I won't repeat that information. So let's lift. I'm wearing leg weights also. Um, and that's something as you get familiar with the program, you wanna add more weight, you wanna make it a little harder. It's the increasing muscle strength pulling on the bones that is the only way to strengthen bones, to build bone density um, as you get older. So we always try to make it a little harder, but that varies individually. So I'm doing, just lifting my legs a little bit and now I'm gonna go out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. My torso is leaning back a little bit, but I'm not touching the chair back. And now out, in, out, in. You can stay right here with the one at a time. Out, in, out. Seated jumping jacks. Five, four, three, two, one. And take a breath, get the breath moving. And we'll come to a chair or a chair back or a wall for a squat. Legs are wide, toes are pointed out at the angle and knees follow the toes and you come down. Lift the hips up, keep the torso straight, down and up down, squeeze, isometrically squeeze the legs together so that you have active legs, a sensation of muscles hugging the bone and you squeeze in your hamstrings and your gluteus maximus muscles to come up. Pump eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Both arms up or one up, one down, forward side stretched. Take the hips to one side, the fingers to the other. Breathe into that opening and the other side. Reach, opening up this whole side of the body. Let your neck be loose and comfortable. And standing right here, we will do our side leg raise. Inhale, right leg lifts, reaches, and returns. Straight leg, foot slightly flexed. Reach with the heel, and two, three. Squeeze it back. Four, slow back. Five, inhale back. Six, inhale. Seven, inhale. Eight, Inhale, nine, inhale, 10, inhale, 11, inhale, and 12, inhale. Three more, three, two, and one. So we'll actually do 15 of each so that we fit into our time. If you have time, you can stop the video at any time and add an extra set. Left leg, lift, 
for one. <laughs> Press down into the standing leg, squeeze back. Three, inhale. Four, inhale. Five, inhale. Six, inhale. Seven, inhale. Eight, inhale. Nine, inhale. Ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And bend one knee then the other as you release. And now take one of your hand weights, or you could use a small rubber ball, or just your fist again, if it's the first time. I'm standing with one leg in front, bending it a little bit. My right hand is holding the weight and it's at my right hip. And you see my shoulder is back and my elbows high. So one is to extend. The upper arm doesn't move, the lower arm, two. Inhale, three, inhale, four, inhale, five, Inhale, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and back. So the slow movement makes it harder which is one of our goals. So it causes the muscle to work more and um, avoids using momentum or swinging, something that doesn't do any good and can hurt your joints. Inhale, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And release the arm, put the weight down, shoulders up and back as we release that. And now we will all sit for our knee extension. It's only done in the seated position. I'm gonna hold small rubber balls, just something to squeeze. It's not an essential part. The essential part is straightening our leg while we lift it up. So on the side, point, flex, and return. We're extending the knee and reaching the leg out. Your torso and your back stands upright away from the chair back. You might be stretching it on the floor. Come forward on the seat and point flex. That may be enough of an effort. Or you could be a couple of inches off the floor. Or you could try to extend at the same level as the other thigh. Inhale, 15. We'll count backwards. 14. 13, 12 point flex, inhale, 11 point flex, 10, nine, eight, reach that heel wherever it is, six, four, two, and last one this side, one. That's a good workout for the whole leg, particularly the quad muscle on the top of the thigh. Second side, same thing with the left leg. Sit up straight, extend, reach, point flex. That's two, three, inhale, four, inhale, Five, inhale, exhale now, 
Inhale back. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Reach for that heel. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. And uh, no sixteen. Tap the quads for a little release. And now seated again, I'm just getting up to actually get my weights. Um, um, I take these two. So at this point we lift our weights up sort of Popeye style. Inhale and press up. It's not too far back. You want to, if you peek up, you can keep them in sight. Two, inhale. Three, inhale. Four, inhale. Five, inhale. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, and down. And place your weights down carefully and might tap your upper arms and shoulders for a quick release. Next, we're gonna do stand up and sit down. This is one of the basic tests of fitness. And I'm getting my timer because we'll do it for 30 seconds and you will keep your own count. So each person does as many as you can in that 30 second time. And what you're doing is standing and coming, uh, sitting and coming to stand and sitting down again, releasing your weight down and standing. You can use help to press off. You can press onto your hand, onto your legs. You can um, place your hands higher for more intense work on the legs. So let's begin. And go. And sit down, 30 seconds. And you'll see that's a good cardio aspect to the workout as well. So sit quietly, let your body rest. And, but not for long in our short set. And now pick up those weights again, this time for bicep curls. Um, <clears throat> So the bicep curl, this could be done this also standing. Arms are long and then bend at the elbow as you bring the weight up and down. So that's one. Notice that the upper arm really doesn't move. Two, inhale slowly down. Three, inhale. As your weights are heavier, you also have to work your core more, pull in the belly on the exhale. So belly moves in to the center of the body here and exhale releases. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, 
two and one. Slow, slow, slow down. And put the weights down and shake your hands out. I interlace the fingers and just kind of twist it. Hands and fingers are loose, but I'm getting a little stretch. Press the palms out. Sometimes a good rub on the thumb and the thumb joint feels good. <laughs> and now we have a stretch. We still have another exercise, but we deserve a good stretch. So this is a quad stretch, big strong muscles on the front of the thigh. So I'm turning to the side and you can see I have both of my legs are bent 90 degrees. The right thighs perpendicular to the floor. My back toes are curled under and I'm pressing into those back toes and I'm reaching down with the knee. It doesn't touch the floor, but I'm reaching down. And just with that action, you'll feel a good stretch in that front of the thigh. If that's not quite enough, you can start taking your torso back, straight back and breathe into that stretch. You could do this more at the end of the exercise after the recording's over and just go back to it and come up and pivot. Now my left leg is back. Make sure you've got those two 90 degree angles. You can hold on to the chair back. That feels good. Pressing down actively. The legs aren't resting. They're pressing into the floor or reaching for the floor in the case of that left knee. Belly firms up to help support the torso. Chest is up, looks up <laughs> and breathe. You may be fine right with an upright torso, feeling enough of the stretch. But as you go slowly, you can explore where your limit is without uh, injury. That's one of the principles throughout. Please stand up for back leg raise against a wall or chair. Stand tall, shift your weight to the left and take the right leg back, toes still touching and then lift right here. You can feel the activation in the hamstring and the one of the glutes. Two, three, slow, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. You can lift or just add a squeeze, sort of the same thing. 12, 13, 14, and 15. Shift legs. Left leg is out. I'm trying to get out of my microphone wire. Inhale tall and left leg goes out. Uno. Inhale. Dos. Inhale. Tres, you can make it a balance exercise, but don't lose the force in the leg. Cinco. Seis. Siete. Ocho. Nueve. Diez. Once. Doce. 13, 14, 15, 15. And we're done with that. If you're wearing leg weights, take them off now. Healthy bones and balance. Most of our exercise involves some balancing as we're on one foot or another. This is easily recognized as a balance exercise. Tree pose in yoga, lifting up one knee and placing it, pressing it against the calf most likely. And if it's 
balance is a challenge. You can actually have the tip of your shoe on the floor, but most of your weight on that uh, standing leg. And we'll do this for 30 seconds. Take the top of the thigh back. Belly's firm. It's the whole body that's hugging towards the midline. You might raise two arms. Both feet are pressing into the surface they're in contact with. And done on that side. Lift up the left leg and press it into the leg or tap the floor. And the left leg and the left foot are just as active as the right leg and foot. That's how you get evenness. And you feel this like a magnetic attraction for the golden midline, this very center place. Take the right thigh, top of the right thigh back a little bit, lift the chest. Belly to the spine. Belly means in, reaching towards the back. Inhale and foot down. Interlace the hands behind or just rest your hands on your sacrum and then press the shoulders together. Reach back for a stretch. So we're done with our official exercises. We're loosening up here. Reach one arm across, hug it in. Shoulder stretch. You can hold these for much longer on your own. That feels good. Right arm up and bend at the elbow so that the hand comes down, touches the top of your shoulder or further down. You can add another arm to it, press it back, touching this whole back of the upper arm where those triceps were working. Reach up both, bend the left. Reach and down. Palms together, reach up with the hands. Hold on to this feeling of power and strength throughout your day. Thanks for joining us.